Here at the Hackeye Institute, we're excited to unveil a brand new tool in our box for collecting underwater data. And yeah, it's a robot. Come with us as we take our new ROV for an ocean test drive to scout out a shipwreck near Quadra Island. An ROV, or remotely operated vehicle, is essentially a submersible robot that is controlled by a pilot on the surface via a tether. The tether provides a live visual feed so the pilot can see what they're doing. Well, the, uh, the first dive with an ROV is uh, always really exciting but also kind of terrifying. We don't know, you know what exactly is going to happen once we put this ROV in the water. Hakai hydrographer Nick Viner will pilot the ROV for its maiden ocean voyage. But first, he'll need to practice. The ROV weighs in at 58 pounds, but in the water it effortlessly zips in all directions with the help of four thrusters, while holding near-perfect neutral buoyancy. Sounds easy enough, but this is no toy car, and there's a lot on the line. Uh, the difficulty of controlling the ROV really varies on the kind of environment that it's in. Um, if we're in a really current-heavy environment with lots of obstacles in the area, it can be a challenge to control. The real challenge is keeping the tether from getting tangled as the ROV can descend more than 300 meters. Well, for the first time, uh, I'm mainly worried about losing the ROV, getting the tether snagged on something and then it breaks and then all of a sudden the ROV's lost. It's a sensitive and expensive piece of equipment, so we really have to be careful when we're down there uh, exploring the ocean and make sure it comes back in one piece. To map the seafloor, our team usually relies on a technology called multi-beam sonar. From the boat, the sonar emits sounds that bounce off the ocean floor back to the boat. Processing the signals gives an approximation of what the ocean floor looks like, be it clay, silt, sand, or cobble. Usually, we then send down divers to verify the sonar data. Here at Hakai, we have a really phenomenal and really experienced dive team, but they are limited to around 30 to 40 meters in their dives. And so this, this ROV here can kind of expand on that and go down to depths where you know, it's not feasible for a diver to go, and not only that, but it can go down there for up to four to six hours, depending on what exactly we're doing. Having passed the shallow water test, it's time to see what the ROV is really capable of. The team has brought it here to our ecological observatory on Quadra Island to check out a fishing boat that sank in the harbour a few years ago. In addition to surveying bottom types, ROVs can be specialized to perform all sorts of tasks. This one is equipped with a go-go gadget array of tool arms, including laser beams for taking measurements. ROVs primarily uh, collect underwater video footage, but we can also use them for things such as uh, collecting sediment samples off the seabed, collecting water samples in the water column, and some more advanced ROVs are even capable of operating underwater machinery. With the successful maiden voyage now in the bag, the ROV is going to be in high demand. Hackeye researchers, you better get in line. <laughs>